how to bounce. Everything is ready and sounding good. One thing to keep in mind, you're always gonna want to select the area that you want to bounce. Um, easiest way for me, I usually just go and grab the track and like just select the entire track. If you had some reverb uh, on at the end and it kind of carries over, you might want to um, just extend this a little longer so it doesn't cut off at the end. Always make sure to make a selection. I'm just going to uh, select from like here, yeah, to here. And I'm just gonna bounce this area. So this, when I bounce it this way, um, everything that we hear when, I, when we press play will be made into one nice neat package of an mp3 or a wave or an AIF. You can do that two ways. One is obviously file and going to bounce mix or it's this is this is the option symbol by the way it took me years to figure out what that was <laughs> the option option command B uh, brings us the same dialogue so I'm gonna do do it that way so we're faster um, and then bounce mix window is what pops up so this is giving us all of our options I'm gonna name this bounce and then I'm gonna change my file type to an AIFF file I want it to be interleaved which means it's in stereo. Mono would squish it into one centered mono track, which we don't want because we have things, you know, panned left and right. It would make it very narrow and weird and squish. It probably would also make it sound distorted. So uh, we're gonna choose interleave. Industry standard is 24 bit 48K. So I'm gonna keep it like that. That's really it. I'm gonna uh, let it go to the session folder. Um, and it creates its own bounced files folder for me. I always have the offline checked and that's it. And I'm gonna hit bounce. Now, while it's doing that, I'm gonna go find it. So you can already see it's creating it. It's a .aiff. Um, this is my sessions folder for Boys Don't Cry, literally in my Pro Tools 2022 folder um, and then bounced files. And it just finished, so here it is. Is it a heartbreak if I don't take my time moving on? Cool. Um, so uh, one thing you might want to be able to do, instead of coming in here and bouncing another one for an MP3, um, iTunes has this cool way, or it's not iTunes anymore, I guess it's music. <laughs> music has this way of uh, converting audio to other audio formats. The way you would do it, first of all, I already have it set up uh, to be able to just convert to MP3, um, but you might not have it set up just like that right away. Uh, so you'll need to go to preferences. This is like, it's not super obvious and it looks like it should be because there's like not even a lot of options here, right? Uh, so it's actually under files which makes sense it's a file and then you'd click on import settings I have it set to the mp3 encoder if I changed it to a wave encoder right and then hit ok uh, hit ok I've changed my settings now if I go to that file convert area now it's gonna ask me to convert it to a wave so if you're like shoot I want to convert but it's not showing you the format you want you would have to go to preferences files import settings and then change the type of encoder <laughs> I guess and then you're good and then you hit ok and then now uh, you would just select the one you want to convert uh, convert to mp3 and boom I have an mp3 version of hit command I just to look at the information and file and it shows you it's an MPEG which is an mp3 so we did it um, but we're not done so that's just if you wanted to have something to listen to something to play someone say you wanted to bounce the stems and send it to an engineer to get mixed or send to your producer to mix um, there is a special way to do that 
and it is same same idea as like before to highlight an area or you can just you can even just select it like this um, or select this uh, rule of thumb when you're sending stems if you if there's an instrumental uh, just always have it going all the way to the beginning so that when they import your stems they all have the same starting point which is the beginning of the instrumental so um, yeah you never want to send stems in like with different start times on different tracks so it's just always best to drag that selection area to the beginning and then select the tracks that you want bounced into stems and then control click it and you're going to use this bounce function so this clicking clicking the track and using bounce from this area does a whole different thing um, and what it's going to do is it's going to make individual files individual mp3s aifs or waves for each individual track you don't have to be concerned about this uh, instrumental not being muted it's only going to bounce what is on its track and what pertains to its track so I'm just gonna select this region just to show you uh, but yes you would want to bounce all the way from the beginning um, and then you're just gonna select uh, this track or you can select all of them at the same time and it's just gonna make a bounce of whatever is on this track just whatever's on this track um, so it's the audio and the auto-tune so even your um, effects will not be on there. Since it's a stems, I want to make it a higher quality file for them. And then I don't need, since it's a mono signal, uh, I don't need this stem to be stereo. So I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it mono. And then um, I'm gonna change that back to 24 bit and bounce. And uh, just to show you, let's do all the BGVs at the same time. Um, so you can see all right gonna left or right click control click and bounce so what I'm writing here as the name when you're bouncing it as stems is basically like a prefix um, it actually says prefix it's going to then put automatically the name of each track after that underscore on its respective bounce. So, okay, got my wave, I got my mono, and I'm good to go. Hit bounce. Does it quite fast. <laughs> Here are all the BGVs, and there you go. Uh, so, just to prove it to ourselves, I'm gonna just play one. Uh, Boys don't seem to cry, so why should I? So it's obviously playing just the one stem. Let's see what BGP3 sounds like. Boys don't seem to cry. Yeah, so it's the background harmony, so that's it. You just bounce your stems, and, and now what you would do is you would select them all, hit control click, and make a new folder with the selection and then we're gonna make this we're gonna name this boys don't 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 <laughs> boys don't cry stems and then one more thing i do before i send off stems is i will just actually control click the whole folder and compress it into a zip folder and then i use something like we transfer or dropbox to send this folder of stems to whoever's receiving them <laughs> so that's that difference between bouncing the mp3 of the whole song and then bouncing the stems so enjoy uh finishing your songs and then bouncing them and i am just so excited to listen